Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. I think it'd be kind to leave you hanging for too long, so I thought I'd shoot this quick update video for you. Uh, I've got the mill sitting where it belongs, and it did go down on all the mounts, at least for the main body part. I haven't moved any of the feet. I'll show you that here in a minute. I guess uh, let's take a look. There it is in all its glory. One GNL 340T. You can see I took the bases off. There's a couple of them over there. Set some up around the trailer. Those things must weigh about 200 pounds a piece, I feel like. I know they were a lot to pick up. And you can see, we've got a little clearance back here for the end of the ram. So everything fit in there nice. You can see the anchor studs. I haven't bolted this down because I'm going to wind up picking it back up. I've decided I'm going to put epoxy down underneath this machine, uh, especially in these pits, to keep coolant and stuff. It gets down in there from uh, sinking into my concrete, so I'm trying to get that sealed up. So I'm waiting on that to come in. Uh, and then once that comes in, I'll move this machine out, uh, prep the floor, and get it painted. Right now, that's what I'm working on is getting all of this uh, form lumber out of these pits, so I can put those feet that are up there on top of the table. You can see those look like rails. You can see those rails on top of the table sitting there with all the anchors on them. That's what goes in the pits. And they're flush with the top level of the floor and two bys lay across them so the thing sticks up. It's just those little rails right in the center. And that's what the outboard supports that the table's sitting on right now uh, sit on. So I've pretty well got the pits cleaned out, finally. Got all the material broke out. I'm gonna drag the vacuum down here and vacuum on this end. The next order of business is gonna be uh, getting these all wiped down and brushed loose and vacuumed up as clean as I can and epoxy them to uh, keep the stuff from getting in there and then that way I can move the feet on in. You can see the other side over there. So the little mill's looking good. I get this moved and painted, I'll be happy. So maybe somebody can answer. Yeah, can't really see, it's too dark. Let's find, find a light. One thing I will show you for people that are smarter than me, first off, you can see the, uh, the razor edge, uh, plow blade, uh, waste scraper there, keeping it clean. But uh, underneath of here, you can see those screws and those pads. This machine's got like a phenolic that is uh, bolted underneath here for the ways and I'm not sure what the material is exactly if anybody knows or can shed some light on this from what I understand about uh, boring mills is you can only go so high on cast iron before it starts wanting to weld itself together so for real high table loads apparently they would apply material like this to the surfaces to keep them from trying to adhere to each other. And then this is a, a uh, lube system. It's got oil that comes through and goes to all those surfaces. I prefer with Z pattern, but obviously they're just bolted on however they are. But I guess in, as a good thing, it means they're replaceable. So in the future you could 
uh, do some pretty easy truing up if needed by just replacing those pads. So that's the gearbox, all this stuff's got to line up when I go to put this table back on. I could do some welding on over here, beautify it up. Somebody broke the corner off some point in time. So, and you can see it's got, got tracks on the table. Over the last 80 years, some people have messed up. But uh, so far, so good. So I'll get that uh, epoxy put down and then I can move those rails into the floor and get this table put on and then be ready to hook some power to this thing and get it in action. I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I'm sure the person that that belongs to is also looking forward to that so they can get that back and get the back in the field moving dirt. So as you can see, there's still lots of work to do to get this deal ready to go. And Bailey's barking orders out there, it sounds like, so I better get back to work. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.